look at the basic structure of the endothelial cell. This is the basement membrane, the, the red lines, and on top of this sits the endothelial cell. This is one endothelial cell, second one, and then you have the third one. Look at the cleft here, intercellular cleft. There are, uh, it can become a channel, it can serve as a channel, and it's sitting nicely on the basement membrane. In an average tissue, this is, this is how the structure is. But in certain organs, this capillary structure, this configuration changes. So for example, brain. So in the brain, you cannot have a situation where all the stuff and any of the stuff can come from the blood and right dump it on the brain itself. So you have very tight regulation called the blood brain barrier where endothelial cells have closed, very close approximation, very tight junctions amongst them. So the blood is, is kept separate from the brain tissue via this configuration of tight junctions between endothelial cells, say in the brain, as opposed to brain, this is one example of how endothelial cells are configured. It's opposite is liver, in which uh, these endothelial cells are, have very spacious uh, clefts for movement of, of, uh, of material between the blood and the liver. And then somewhere in between is the GIT. In the GIT, the vessels are uh, 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 between the brain tight junctions and the liver broad, broad uh, tracts between cells. Uh, the GIT is in between uh, to absorb all the nutrients uh, that, you, that you have and water and so on.